Okay. Hi, everybody. It's June 18th, Tuesday. You're here at the weekly chaos community call. Oh, thanks, Sean. No Sean's problem. Good to hear for us. Nice. Um, great to see everybody here. We've put the minutes in the chat, but if you need them, um, happy to do that again. Hamza, I'm going to go ahead and mute you. Sorry. I think we're hearing some background noise. Oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> we were just hearing some background noise from you. No worries. Um, yeah, if you have a little or well-known fact, then um, feel free to share it with us. We um, had just been talking about the lemon-lime thing, and we are really going to need to, yes, verify that that is not just the internet <laughs> being the internet. <laughs> so if you have a fact and you want to share it with everybody, put it in here. Um, yeah. Okay. So the first thing on the agenda is that Wednesday is Juneteenth here in the States, so it's a U.S. holiday, so there won't be, um, I shouldn't say no meetings, but I think the design, I think it's the design meeting is going to go ahead and go forward, um, Chaos Africa designers. So it's the DEI and data science meetings that are canceled. So I should actually put that in here, DEI and data science meetings canceled for Wednesday. So just want to share that with you all. Um, and then we wanted to talk about uh, obviously, well, not obviously, but Thursday, July 4th is also a holiday here in the States. So there's gonna be a lot of people out. And then Don makes an excellent point about um, a lot of folks take some time that week to just be so if um, we want, we can just take that whole week off from meetings. What do you all think? about that it's also london data week so selfishly i sort of want to do some of those things um i will also point out that if you google london data week a lot of the events are also virtual so i'll be doing a little a, a chaos one as as well so okay. um, so you don't actually have to be in london to go to some of the london data week events so for some of you especially those in chaos africa and folks in similar time zones to the uk uh, might be interested here i'll drop a i'll drop a link that'd be great you to google it do you want to put it in the minutes too yep i'll do that okay perfect so what do we think i think there's a way to do a poll here but i don't know how to do it poll quizzes let's do a poll let's do a zoom poll can we do that scenario uh, one question. Sure. Oh, this is the one that Matt had. Hold on. Let me just say. I should have done this before. I didn't I didn't even think about it. Should we take off the week of July 4? Uh, and we have the options of yes or no. No. Or don't care too much. Either way. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I don't know. Did that get a, give you guys a pop up? What what happens? I got one. I yep. Think I voted. It was a pop up. Awesome. Oh, Take this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, right. I never. Uh, yeah, I think Matt, I saw Matt use it once in a meeting, and I was like, "Ooh, that's cool." I don't know if I voted or not. Did you hit submit? If you clicked on one of the options and it went away, then that means you probably voted for one. <laughs> no. I mean, for some, I think because I'm logged in as chaos, I'm maybe not getting a chance to vote, which is oh, fine. Oh, all yeah, that's true. Everybody okay. logged in as chaos community isn't going to get to vote because just totally fine. The results are looking fairly clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're going to end that. Yeah. If What's what that? Are the okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. There we go. Share yeah. results. Oh. Can you all see that? It's, it's pretty, pretty overwhelming. <laughs> does it show you how many people voted? It does. Because it doesn't show us. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, a total of 10 people, nine okay. people voted. Nine of 11. Yep. Yeah. So if you didn't get to vote, that's okay. You can still vote. I mean, unofficially. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a rep representative amount of people 
yeah. considering how many of us are on the call. And well, I mean, you, 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 you can take my yes off if you want, because if you ever ask me if we should cancel a meeting, I will always say yes. Say yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I've kind of reached that stage in my life as well. I'm great at not meeting. Yes. Do we need to have this meeting? No, this meeting could be an email. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and, then, and, and then you just forward all your, all your emails to trash because we hate emails. Ah! <laughs> isn't, isn't it where we are right now? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> pointed at chat GPT like hey could you deal, deal with all these flood of emails I can't care yeah. today <laughs> <laughs> I can't care today yeah <laughs> chat GPT is just gonna do all our jobs it'll be great I love it and we what can just possibly go wrong right it'll be fine um so overwhelming yes so um I will do that on the calendar cancel meetings on oops on the calendar and notify people. Okay, great. Thanks everybody. That was super exciting. Interactive meetings. I love it. Um, okay, any other, any questions, anything, confusion, anything about that? Okie doke. The next thing on the agenda is extremely, extremely important and urgent. Uh, I was just thinking it might be nice to acknowledge birthdays. I, I'm a big birthday person. Like I'm the one on Facebook who goes and says, wishes everybody happy birthday. I like it. So I thought it might be fun for those who want to opt in if we did some kind of like, hey, happy birthday. Um, or, you know, something also to notify when there's a holiday in a country that we're in. So not everybody knows all the holidays of every country. So that might be interesting too, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, but it might be noisy. I don't know. What do you all think? What do you, what do you want? What do you think about it? I love the idea of doing it, especially on like one of the, like the random channel or something, because I, so I'm, I'm sort of jealous because in the UK, our holidays are things like the early May bank holiday, the late May bank holiday. We have the most unimaginative holidays ever. And so I've always get super excited when other countries have these like amazing holidays, like for their, for their culture or, you know, things like Juneteenth, you know, the abolition of slavery in the U S that's like a, that's like a, you know, a, a big deal and like a cool holiday to celebrate. And so I think it's fun to just sort of celebrate the things that other people around the world are celebrating. I like it. I, and I'm pretty sure we could, I, I probably should research this first, but I'm pretty sure we can hook up Slack to some public google calendar somewhere of all the holidays i'm imagining that's a thing if it's not it should be so careful what you wish for <laughs> yeah. you'll get you can get everything down to international donut day like <laughs> right. yeah. there are there's probably like 20 special days for every day in the calendar so we just have to throttle it to country holidays and i think it'll be okay i think we'll be all right um okay so um so it sounds like we're we're okay with this does anybody have concerns or thinks that maybe that's not a great idea which is totally valid i see a plus one from sophia in the chat builds community yeah i think so too i like it i'm not really hearing anybody that doesn't like it. So if you do have some kind of concerns, don't hesitate to just reach out to me privately if you want. That's also totally valid. Um, Quick question. Yeah. Are our birthdays already somewhere magically in Slack or is that a piece of information that needs to be shared somewhere? I don't know. That's a great question. Right. I have no idea. All right. Well, not needed to, doesn't need to be answered right now. Just, there's no magic maybe. answer. Yeah, float the idea a few more times before we implement it. That's totally valid too. We can um, do that. Uh, tentative, uh, tentatively positive. Oops. Okay. And then, um, if there is anybody that wants to work on that, I think there's some. Um, some slack integrations with the like slack official slack bot so i don't know that we need to like write a whole thing from scratch but um if there is somebody that wants to work on that that's totally fine 
birthdays we have been celebrating on calls when someone shares are there any private data privacy issues that's kind of the thing yeah kevin that's a good point um it would definitely have to be an opt-in so you would have to be okay with people knowing when your birthday is um and we would yeah i think it would obviously definitely be be opt-in so if you didn't want people to know that's totally fine <laughs> totally fine i don't really like the idea of building a database of birthdays so i think mm, that's, i think it would pull it from slack so it would just be like another data point, but I totally understand what you're saying. I'm aware some folks don't like to not celebrate their birthdays. Yes, of course. Yeah, so it would be like a totally opt-in. So, I mean, you would have to provide that information somewhere, but we can, let's, let's look into it a little more because I'm actually not sure how that works in Slack, if it's even a thing. If it's not a thing in Slack, then it's gonna yeah. be a little more tricky. And also, yeah, we'd have to store that somewhere, which, uh, yeah. Okay, let's look into it a little bit more. Or maybe start with the public holidays because that one didn't seem controversial. Like we don't yeah. have to or nothing. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, that makes total sense to me, yes. Plus one to public holidays. Sean, you're not seeing birthdays in Slack? Okay, then. I mean, it's just a super cursory look while we're on the call here. Okay. I mean, I, there's other places to look, I'm sure. Okay, then yeah, I don't know how that would work. We would have to have a calendar somewhere. People would add, I guess, I don't know. That seems like kind of sketchy now um just see here oops okay so do we think we're okay with the the holidays like is that something somebody could start working on or do should we float that around again a little bit more. Hey, this Georg. I think we can explore it, but before we make this a permanent thing, float the idea a few more times since we're only, what, 13 on this call, 14 now. Super fair. Okay, let's do that. Totally fair. All right, thanks everybody. Um, okay, the next one on here is, uh, so I don't remember when, a few weeks ago, maybe it was not even on this call, I don't remember, but we were talking about the chaotic of the week and how we ask chaotic of the week to give some advice for newcomers. And then that advice goes nowhere. because <laughs> it's like, then it's like their post is gone and it, you know, it doesn't really get surfaced. So what I did was I took all of the advice from all of our chaotics of the week and I put them in this doc. Uh, I wanted to get feedback though, because I don't know if this is the right format, first of all, if it's just too much to, for a, a newcomer to read through, it's kind of a lot and it will just get bigger. Um, and if this isn't the right format, how else can we share that information with our newcomers? I'd love your thoughts. I'm sharing the link in chat in case anybody wants to click and navigate to this page. I like it. Maybe we can add a link to this page from the knowledge base newcomers page. Oh, this is great. <clears throat> Is it, is it like too much? Is it too many words? I didn't read all the words, but I, I like the, the individual vignettes kind of describing how to participate. I think that's really helpful because, you know, people, I mean, I, I kind of, I'm familiar with all these people on some level or another, and they all come from different 
perspectives and places. So I think it's great. I see Georg's hand is up. Yeah, I think as a place to collect them all, this is great. I don't know how many people will actually find it. So what if we had a <coughs> carousel on the website where it would show one advice, like one quote at a time, and it would scroll through? Yeah, I like that a lot. Because <coughs> this will just get longer as we have so many more awesome people in our community that provide advice. So I'm a bit, yes, uh, yep. Eddie Inca says, a bit concerned about the volume of text by the time we scale. Yeah, because it will get pretty, uh, pretty long. I also was wondering if, it would be helpful to read through and maybe surface some common themes. Like I don't want to, I don't want to take away from individual quotes, but um, there are quite a, there is quite a lot of overlap. Um, there are some common themes that I noticed. So I don't know. What do you all think about that? Plus one to themes. Like kind of a high level. Um, yeah, I mean, as, certainly as they grow, themes will help. Mm -hmm. Georg, is your hand still up or do you have something new? Oh, no, it was not something new. It was still up. But I do have a thought on the themes. Awesome. By aggregating the advice into themes, we are losing the reference to the community member that made the suggestion. And that personalization, that personal contact is lost by building themes. And if we are offering themes of here's general good advice for newcomers, then there are already a lot of resources out there and what makes us special. So I prefer to keep it attached with the name of the community member that made specific suggestions. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a long list, but I think for somebody who's brand new to the community and is just looking to soak up, um, you know, advice, I think people like that will read through them. And if it's useful for one or two people, I think it's worth it. <clears throat> Kevin okay. points out in chat, it's not mutually exclusive. Yeah, we could do both. Why not both? Yeah, I mean, it might be worth updating the the newcomer guide, like how to get started with chaos with maybe our, you know, thinking of the themes idea, you know, here are our top five suggestions for and you could collate those into, you know, like five themes or something. But then also, yeah, for sure, promote the individual quotes. Mm -hmm. Because they are beautifully written. And I, I, you know, Georg, I completely understand what you're saying. Like, I don't, I don't want to lose that bit of it because they're really lovely and um, certainly different than just a bullet list. So I get it. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll think about it a little longer. Um, I will start to share this though. I shared it in the newcomer channel, I think. I don't know if I did. I meant to. I don't know if I actually did it. Um, but if I didn't, you I will. will soon. <laughs> as soon as this meeting's over. Um, so yeah, and we'll start sharing that around. And then if you if you also encounter some newcomers or if people are like, I don't know what to do, um, this is a good resource for them as well. But some of it is very specific to chaos and some of it is a little more general for open source in general. So very helpful stuff in there, really great. So thank you to all the chaotics that 
have contributed to that. I appreciate you. Any other questions, comments, uh, any feedback, anything on this? I think this is great. I love it. Well, thanks. I, I like it too. Yeah. We have really awesome people here in chaos, really smart people. So yeah. Okay, well, let's go on. We have a project managers update. Ooh, I'm guessing that peculiar or Yiga, one of you two put that on here. Yiga and Busayo, awesome. Yeah, so Busayo is going to talk about it. I don't know if she's able. <laughs> oh, she has called me out. Okay, so hi everyone. So myself, um, Busayo. <laughs> It's fine, Bethaya. Myself, Bethaya, and Pekilia, we've been having, you know, meetings as coaches for the product management, you know, team. And these are some of the things that we've kind of decided. Um, so because we've been, we've been project managing at least two projects, you know, over, over time, and because Chaos also doesn't have, we do have so many projects, but also not so much such that um, the coaches will each have projects right so we decided that for more more people to join or new people to have more things to do right it would just make sense for each coach to have one project you know that they're currently working on and also another pm added to them as is the normal thing to do within chaos right so that way we have more space for other people to join in right and of course do project management work um the other thing is um we also want people okay so the the projects Busayo is still going to be you know the pm for accessibility and then a new pm will be needed to add to the work that she's doing for the onboarding course myself and um Peculia are still going to be the PMs for that. I have been unavailable because um, I did lose someone close to me. So, but I'll get back to speed with that. Um, the other thing will be that the scale sub project has a list of projects that we currently have. So, if there's anything that needs to be worked on, um, members of Chaos can easily, you know, go into the sub project and say hey we need a project manager to help us manage things and then of course we'll take it up in the general project managers meeting right um so this is a call for new project managers or you know existing ones the other thing that i would like to bring up here is that um if it's okay and of course the majority would this um would like to hold meetings on fridays or on tuesdays um twice a month as well just so that we're not having too many meetings on our calendar and focus more on async communication within the channel on slack so all of that is up for discussion or imputes what do we think is that okay do we have additions but that's that's the, that's it all thank you I think it's a it's a helpful update, and I'm glad the project management group is is going strong and helping us to take care of some of these really important parts of the project that without you would not be getting attention. So thank you. Um, yeah, agreed. This is amazing. Um, I uh, I think every other week is totally fine. Would would it be helpful for me to add them to the big chaos calendar? Yes, I think so. So that that way it, it shows that there's a PM team within chaos and new project managers as well can join in if they want to or when they want to. Okay, yes. Perfect. Awesome. Yes. We have so um, the chaos calendar, the way it's set up now is, we, you know, we have those individual calendars within our big calendar that people can subscribe <laughs> to. So yeah. we have a limit of 12 of those, which we've reached, but the, the last one we have is just called chaos operations. And that's kind of where I put the communications working group. So I feel like this would mm -hmm. be with that. Is that okay? 
Yes, that's perfectly fine. Okay. So if somebody subscribes to this calendar, they'll get both of those meetings. But I think that mm -hmm. that's okay. Okay. Let me just put an action item for me here. Do you all have a preference of Tuesday or Friday? Most of our meetings go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at Chaos. We try to keep like Monday, Fridays off if we can. I know, but we knew we have an auger meeting on Monday. So if you want to do Friday, whatever works better for you all. I don't know what everybody else thinks. Um, Posayo, Peculiar, I don't know if Mary Blessing is Yeah. I mean. Uh, she says four I get me. She says I'm Sorry, Visayo, what was that? Okay, sorry. Uh, I said Tuesdays work for me. So it's just, you know, nice if Tuesdays also work for them. We could do Tuesdays right after this meeting, um, if we if we want. That that is a, an open space. I see a Yiga is a thumbs up. Okay. And if we do need to conflict with another meeting, we, we do have a way to do that now. So we can do that if, if that comes to that. But maybe we'll just start with that and see how it works. And we can always change it. Yes, I think that works. That's great. Okay, that works for Visayo too, okay. Um, here's another question for this team. Would it be helpful if we had a standing spot in this meeting for you all to either give updates or recruit volunteers for things on your projects would that be helpful i think that's yes. Okay. yes okay let's just do that and then hopefully like one of the three of you will be on the call and if not that's also completely fine i guess not that, mm -hmm. not that deep so that's okay yes um, okay let's add a standing agenda item for PM updates and recruits for any volunteers. I think I like that a lot um, because often, you know, when newcomers are coming here and they're looking for something to work on, I always tell them come to a meeting, come to the community meeting first, because this is like the kind of in, nice intro of who we are, what we're doing. Um, and I always say that volunteer opportunities crop up in meetings. So attending a meeting, if you can, is really the best way to kind of just start to integrate yourself into the project. Um, so if, if we had that as a standing thing, then that would even be better. Like that would support that and kind of just confirm that yeah, that's a place where stuff pops up. So great, thank you. This is fantastic. I love you all. Any um, questions for this team? Anybody? And I also will just reinforce that if if a project is if you're working on a project within chaos and you would like a project manager that's the team to go to they can totally help you get organized and get you on a plan and get volunteers and like help help herd the cats as they say so don't hesitate perfecto. to reach out to them <clears throat> perfecto perfecto okay amazing what else do we have look at all this time we have left over what the heck how do we do that I don't know. Maybe some of us are staring down a two hour meeting after this. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to close the meeting if we don't have anything else. I'll give you all a little bit of your time back. I have nothing else myself. Okay. I'm going to look at Sophia. Where's Sophia? she here yeah she's here. already gone okay no she's here <laughs> no i'm here i'm just in a noisy place <laughs> i feel like Sophia, Sophia always has like that last minute yeah. I, I, always I am Sophia. actually working on something <laughs> that i was hoping to bring to this group um when it was a little bit more uh, but it's i guess i'll give you the preface and then I unfortunately am not ready to present it, but I think what would be great is if I give you the overview now and then bring it next week. Um, is I'm working on a project with a sub 
group in the Kubernetes community where we're basically trying to investigate once again how non-code work is being tracked and recognized across the project. And we you know we've, we've tried this a couple of ways in chaos. We've tried this a couple of ways with other academic partners. I know Anita's looked at this. My colleague Amanda has looked at this and other various folks. Um, and so we're once again doing it just to see if there, if we can learn from how other projects have adapted to this. I know within Kubernetes community, it's a very specific issue because they're concerned that people that are not doing code related work are not recognized on the same criteria and that's less visible for promotion and leadership positions. And so the question is, if we create a better way to recognize this that can be compared or looked at on the same table or I guess like comparison as these other types of content. So I mean, it's kind of an experiment, but to do this, we're writing a survey right now um, to be able to collect this information from various sites across the community. Um, but it's it's a bit cumbersome to get the, the things that we want to know into a format that's less than 10 minutes. So um, I'd love to sort of present the premise to this group next week as both like a data collection and stuff. This is well to like vet it from more perspectives in the community. We've written it for Kubernetes, but my particular goal is to make it applicable to any project that wants to go on this investigation. So it's, we'll see how it works. It could totally fail, um, which I'm fine with, but we're going to try it anyway. Selfishly? So, that's, that's the general gist. <laughs> yeah. oh, I am super interested in how that unfolds selfishly because I, like you said, we've tried a few things in chaos and we still do have that uh, contributing .m, not contributing .md, community contributions.md file. Um, but I think only a handful of folks are using it. I don't think everybody's using it. So um, yeah, I would really, really love to hear more about this. And if, if yeah. I support you all in any way, I would love to. So just let me know. Yeah, I think I already shared some of it with Anita Sharma, who has done some research on this as a way to like that our approach. Um, but I think we're just hoping to learn something we haven't considered before. Um, I think I know we, we've asked a number of people, and I, I think what we're doing in chaos is actually far ahead of many others that aren't doing anything. Uh, for similar types of trying, trying to create some sort of record keeping or credit or recognition. Um, so it's just more to see if we can uncover what has been working well or not well for different aspects of a, of a huge community. So I think they are already doing some things better than other projects, but it's also like part of that is the nature of scale of the project is so massive that they have like dedicated project management and social media and community management roles that are like centralized across the project because there's so many different factions. So I think it'll be interesting in both the discovery of how that organizational novel is working for things that are not related to code, as well as maybe they've uncovered other ways to do this because of the sheer size and diversity of participation. So I will, I'm excited to share our approach next week. Um, and then if we learn anything, I'll come back and share that with the group as well. Yeah, that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. And you know, if, if they can figure out the, the way to do it right, that works, <laughs> like that is huge for open source. That's huge. That is huge because that is a piece that has just been so hard to sort out and to figure out a good solution. So, oh, I'm very excited to see what happens with that. I think that'll be huge. Um, okay, I don't think, do we have anything else? From anybody? I don't. I don't either. All right, well, we will give you all back your 11 minutes. So have a great rest of your day, everybody. And we will see you here same time next week. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye, bye everybody.